Time Oaks in Dallas joins us tonight. And Dallas, congratulations, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. Yes, and uh, uh, this is your uh, you retired from Silicon yes, Police Department, retired. law enforcement, after a whole lot of years, and yeah. and uh, you're the new city council representative in uh, District 5. Your feelings on it? Oh, I, I, I want to appreciate everybody that voted for me in District 5. But, you know, I'm a city councilman for the city of Silicon. If people need me in other districts. I'll be there for them. I want to thank Billy Carden. You know, we've been, we went to school. We've been friends all our life. He's run a good campaign. I appreciate him. I consider him as a friend. All right, right before we get uh, back to Dallas, let me let me put these numbers from Childersburg in. I appreciate uh, Eric for taking care of this for us. Uh, in the mayor's race, uh, Ken Yank Wesson, who led the uh, election in August, again, uh, wins by a landslide. Ken Yank Wesson, 654 votes to Pete Story's 406 votes. That's 61.70% to 38.30%. Ward B, uh, Bill Moody beats the incumbent. Michelle Weissman, 211 votes to 124 votes. Almost 63% of the vote goes to Moody. And in Ward D, uh, Glenn Stubblefield, former uh, city councilman in Childersburg, uh, edges uh, William Jr. Owings, 91 votes to 76 votes. So uh, new councilman, new mayor in Childersburg, just like here in Sylacauga. There's some incumbents in Childersburg, but all new here in Sylacauga. And uh, Dallas, in running for this position, uh, you were a longtime law enforcement. Yes. Uh, why did you run for this position? Well, you know, I care about Sylacauga. I care about the people. I raised my family here. It's a wonderful. I would like to help make it better. They still a lot, like I've always said, a lot needs to be done. But listen, it's still the best place around here in the state to live. How do, how do we how do we move Silicaga forward? What we've got to do first, we've got to get everybody get together, the new elected officials, and get us a plan and a goal, and put that plan together and let the people know what our plan is and what our goal is. Keep them informed. You know, on any kind of business organization, communications is one of the most important things they are. If people know what's going on, they might not like it, but maybe they can understand it a little bit better. I believe in communicating, let them know what we're doing, uh, be there for them. Why do you think you were so successful uh, in this campaign? Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I you just, knocked on doors, you I, met yes, people. Yes, knocked on doors, let people, you know. I've been around a long time. I've been in the public's eye for many years in law enforcement. People know I like to help people. That's my life is helping people. Uh, maybe I, I just enjoy helping people. And a lot of people know that and know me to do that. As a former uh, law officer, uh, you have a firm uh, stand as feeling for uh, law enforcement agents. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's been my life, most of my adult life. Now, uh, new council taking over uh, in November. Uh, whether or not this uh, current council approves the budget or whether they leave it as suggested maybe to you guys, uh, uh, that budget's going to be first thing you have to deal with. Oh, yeah. We've got to get together and we've got to find money to do the things that we want to do. That's right. Well, you know, we can. everybody can say they're going to do this, they're going to do that, but we've got to find the money to do it. Mm -hmm. And none of us knows, uh, I don't know what money's there, what's not, we haven't been in it. Like Billy said, we got to get in there and learn what it is and get us a, get uh, us a game plan going. You as well as Billy and Brian and, and these other candidates, uh, uh, your faith is very strong. Your faith oh, is yes, important sir. to you. That's right. I mean, that's, you know, if you, if you ain't got the Lord in your life, you don't have nothing. It don't matter what you are, what you get to be. If you ain't got God, you don't have nothing because it's going to pass. Whatever you are and whatever you accomplish, it's going to pass. You're retired, so you can spend a lot of time. Oh, yes, uh, sir. Like I said, that's going to be my full time mm -hmm. job. Okay. Dallas, congratulations and uh, good luck uh, the next four years. And uh, we'll be talking to you again soon. Appreciate you coming by. Thank you, sir. Dallas yeah. Davenport, our guest tonight. Uh, Dallas uh, over Billy Carr tonight, 224, 224 votes to 79 votes.